All right, so now we're done cleaning up after that little mess. Now this truck, the previous owner barely drove the truck. So I'm positive that was there before it came into, it came into our care. So, cause this truck, we've owned it for three months now and it's been driven every day. So there's, you know, no chance of anything making a nest that's in there. But if you do have that happen to you, make sure that you clean up all of the, all the crud that's under the engine, eh? you wanna make sure that there's anything left under there cause it can burn and stink as the engine gets hot, etc. So now we're gonna get into the bowels of the oil sensor here. All right. <sighs> this is one of those jobs that kind of makes you question your life choices. Now, if you can see, in there, I hope you can. Just adjust my camera, there we go. You'll see a turquoise connector where the wires go in, and there's a white clip on the back. Now, that white portion at the back, it's like in, it's like a staple shape. That has to slide up. It has to slide vertically up. And once that's up, there's a tab in the middle that you depress toward the center of the sensor with your thumb. And that should release the sensor. Now, a lot of the videos I've watched, people just say, oh, just take the clip off and, and etc. They don't tell you how to do it. That little white uh, staple-shaped plastic piece at the back slides up. And then you press in the center of it with your thumb, and supposedly the sensor will come loose. So the, the clip on the sensor will come loose. There it is. I was able to get it unclipped as described. I'm trying to give you the best view I can. There's not a lot of room back here. Let's see, there's that white portion right there. And I was able to work that up with my thumb on the left side, the right side, left side, right side. I was able to massage it up. And then in the center there, there's a grayish tab. And that's the tab you have to depress at the same time you pull it up. This was a pain in the tuchus because I have large hands and you have to have decent dexterity in order to get this to work. But, you know, after it took me about a minute or two just to kind of feel it out and get it unplugged. So now that the sensor is exposed, we begin the task of feeding through all sorts of sockets and extensions, universals, etc. I will let you know which ones I use. You may have different results, but there it is right there. This uh, noise barrier, heat shroud. I've heard it referred to with multiple things. As, uh, I don't care what it is, it's in the way. It's gonna be a pain in the, pain in the hind quarters, but uh, supposedly 27 millimeter deep wall socket works best for this, so I'm gonna try that first. Okay, we're gonna see if we have a winning combination here. Got a one and one sixteenths deep wall, half inch drive universal, and I'm gonna try it with a four inch extension. I'm gonna see if I can get that to work. So, let me see if I can do this here. I'm gonna try and keep you guys involved here. So this is difficult to see, so I can just drop the, should be able to just drop it on it. Okay, that's on. Universal is old. It's kind of flopping around a lot. And hopefully that's not going to be an issue. I'm going to fish this back there and click it and click it in. And I'm thinking that's going to do it. I'm going to need my underhand here. So I'll check back with you. All right, ladies and gents, we got it in there. It's a four inch, half inch, uh, four inch long, half inch drive extension on a regular socket. Uh, and one and one sixteenths deep wall with a universal. And I was able to get all the pieces to connect together. I should have enough room to, to do this uh, without having to do the manifold. And I haven't removed any hoses or anything. So if I'm lucky, I can, I can uh, tackle this quite easily so here. okay now it was in there pretty tight 
so you are going to have to wrestle with it but now you can see hopefully that what i got going on here did have to wrench on it a little bit but it broke loose and now it's spinning freely so she should come quiet this is feeling pretty loose now i'm gonna remove my ratchet and i'm gonna turn it by hand <clears throat> there is a little screen at the bottom of this thing so i'm gonna have to fish that out after i get the sensor off completely this isn't exactly the 20 minute job that everybody describes it is oh it feels like it's loose okay it's off i got my fingers on the bottom of the socket to make sure i don't drop the sensor whoop almost oh boy okay and there she is my light here but there it is that's our culprit got a little bit of oil on it so it might have been might have been seeping or something but all right well folks one thing to remember when you pull this sensor out the old sensor make sure the rubber weather seal goes back into the new sensor now because this truck was a newer truck it's only got 34,000 miles on it. The rubber stayed on the clip when I pulled it out. So if you're working on an older truck, that rubber may come out in the old sensor. If it does, you gotta take the rubber O-ring out of the sensor, the old sensor, and place it into the new sensor before plugging your clip in there. Just a little top tip to check for that when you're doing this job. Next item of business, now that the sensor has been removed there's a little screen in there that's this piece right here some like i said earlier some people clean it it was six bucks i'm just replacing it and what you need apparently is a coat hanger with a hook on it what i'm going to do is try to get it down into the hole fish it into the center of this and then pull it up and out so i got a coat hanger here it's straight for about a foot one other item of note here that's the old sensor so one other item of note is before I forget I'm gonna unplug this so that the computer resets you know unplug the battery so that the uh, when you plug it back in the computer starting from scratch otherwise you may still get error codes when the uh, ECU resets like this with the new sensor in place it should uh, it should clear the codes and it should work fine. So, All right. apologies for the weird angle, and forgive me for my voice. I am uh, laying on my chest here. Hopefully, you can see down in there. I got my little coat hanger here. I'm gonna go fishing. Oop, there goes my flashlight. I don't like fishing, honestly. I don't like fish. I have better ways to spend my time, like working on Chevys. It looks like I got it. There it is. So I just pushed it down in there, that little hook on the end, and pulled that little guy out. So. Uh, 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 let me show you what I'm working with here. Uh, I got a dog bed laying on top of the engine. That's kind of how you got to do this. Others have said that. So but there it is. There's that screen popped clean out. Nice and easy. It All right. Installation is the reversal of removal. Just kidding. I'm not going to leave you guys hanging like that. All right. So we got our little screen here, and we're going to pop that in the hole. And the next hurdle is going to be 
getting the thread started on this guy to make sure it's correct. Note, just something to remember, the sensor comes with this plastic cap on it, so pop it off before you put the sensor in. And don't forget to put that little screen in first. So, ooh, let's not drop that back there. I'm gonna try to get you guys in there. You guys are always in the way, why is that? All right, there it is. Hopefully you can see my fingers down in there, beyond the flashlight and everything. Well, there goes the flashlight, let me handle this. Ooh. Uh, come here, come here, Mr. Sensor. Don't fall down there. Crap. Uh, okay, let's put you up here. Just somewhere safe. Okay. Uh, flashlight's messed up. Okay. Come around the back. Uh, see, I'm moving the pipes so that the flashlight's resting on, so maybe I'm in a different spot to get it in here. Trying to get this just right where everybody can see. Okay. There it is. It just dropped right down into the hole, right where it needs to be. And now we're gonna get now we're gonna get the sensor in there. Again, hopefully you can, hopefully you can see what's going on here. So let me grab the sensor. I'll go try and get the thread started on this guy. Keep pumping the flashlight. Okay. And getting the thread started. Getting the thread started. Need my socket here. I'm gonna get this guy back there. There goes the light. This might be easier for people with smaller hands. Oh boy, there goes the flashlight. <sighs> now this for a couple of views. Okay, well, there we go. <sighs> All right, let's slid down and on. And uh, it's not where I want it to be. <laughs> okay, we gotta pull the extension off and on there now my extension the way it works is I need it above that hose to get the angle right results may vary based on your truck and year etc etc so I need two hands for this welcome back again at the extension where I needed it so I gotta get my ratchet on there make sure your ratchet is set to tighten before getting it on there I can't tell you how many times I've done that gotten a really tight spot in a really difficult area and the wrench is in the wrong direction so I'm just gonna tighten this up don't tighten it a lot I've heard 26 feet pounds I can't get a torque wrench in here so I'm just kind of gonna give it a good snug by hand I'm sure a lot of people have. I cue fast forwarding. All right. It's beginning to tighten here. Make sure I'm at a good angle with my universal and everything. And I'm going to give it a good snug. Not too much. 
but just enough to crush that fitting and that feels like it feels like it's pretty tight so okay let's pull extensions out of here yeah and again I did not remove any hoses unplug anything didn't move any shields or anything and there she sits so let's see about getting that plug on there let's see if I can do this with you with you guys here with me hose in the way there we go okay oh what do you know hear that click snap and it's on there that's good make sure that little uh, white staple shaped piece is all the way down I'm gonna try to pull it off just to make sure it's on there and it's on all right we did it so uh, oh, too old for this. Okay. We're all set. Uh, remove your GM approved dog bed. And uh, let's put the shroud back on. Those two bits right there, round pieces, fit into those two tabs right there to the back I have to wrestle with it uh. Uh. okay and then make sure those are lined up and there it is okay we'll reconnect the battery and uh this is just a 10 mil and uh, GM approved block of wood here. Get that down on there nice and good. 10 mil. Place the uh, rubber cover here. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Grab all my tools here. Get everything out of the engine bay before I try starting this thing. That's where that's where it wants to be okay yeah I can see where it was rubbing all right so that's where it is all right moment of truth and what do you know we got oil pressure excellent check engine light is off perfect all right guys well i hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as i enjoyed making it check back later on for more updates more videos and us helping you guys out